In this video, we are going to look into a new topic, uh, which is uh, the law of signs or uh, sign rule. So, this of course is related to triangles, no doubt about it. It's part of trigonometry. So, trigonometry is nothing but right angle triangles and so on. So, now what exactly is sign rule? Let's look into that now. So, say for example, we've got a triangle, all right. Say we've got a triangle, and then say let us name it A. B and C. Let the lengths of the triangle be A units, B units, and C units. The reason I'm writing A, B, C like this, well, there's a reason. I'll just tell you that. That's the whole point. You know, that's the whole thing about this, uh, the law of signs or sign rule. So, what is that is? This is the actual statement. So, here is a statement. It says, the sides of a triangle are proportional to the signs of the angles opposite to them. That is in a triangle ABC, in this triangle ABC, if you see, you know, the sides of a triangle, when they say the sides of a triangle, they obviously mean the lengths of the sides of the triangle. So, these sides are proportional to the sign of the angles opposite to them. So, say for example, this side, the length of BC or A units is proportional to its opposite angle, the sign of its opposite angle. So, for B, it is that side, for C, it is this side. So, what you get actually is the law is like this, the rule is like this. The rule is A divided by sine A, that is sine of the angle A which is opposite to this side, equals B divided by sine B. This angle is opposite to this side, right? That's why, I mean, here actually BC is represented by A, AC is represented by B, and then AB is represented by C. So, C divided by uh, sine C. So, the sides of a triangle are proportional to the sines of the angle opposite to them. That's exactly what this means and this is the formula, if you want to call that. So, how are you going to use this is pretty simple actually. You know, you say if you've got two angles and a side and if you want to measure the, the length of the other side, you know, you can use this. Alright, you can use this uh, sine rule to find and uh, there are a lot more applications uh, than just that uh, to sine rule, which we will be discovering as we... Uh, move, um, you know, in the forthcoming videos. So, apart from that, well, uh, this is the sign rule. Uh, let me quickly, you know, take you through the sign rule. It's nothing but the sides of a triangle, you know, say for example, BC or AC or AB. If you take AB, then the length of this side is proportional to the angle opposite to this side, you know, say C by sine C, right? When they're proportional, they form a ratio. So, that's what it is. So, that's it. So, I'll see you in the fourth wing videos with uh, problems based on the law of signs or sign rule.